what do you guys think about this feature so it's been revealed recently courtesy of pop base and twitter and x and shit twitter elon musk has a very interesting approach about the block feature they're looking to change it so twitter and x are changing the blocks feature your posts will be visible to anyone you block but they will not be able to engage with them so essentially block across all social media platforms basically means you're cut off from seeing that person ever on your timeline you can't see their post you can't see anything about them you're just completely denied any access but now i guess elon is now pushing for a feature that allows people to block you so you cannot engage with them but they can still see your post which i think is kind of cool but i'd imagine if you're somebody that feels like you have to block people you're gonna find this really annoying for someone like myself i'm a stern believer i'm a firm believer i'm a firm 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 believer that if you're a man with a penis between your legs and balls hanging between your legs blocking other people is incredibly lame if you're a man i feel like you should have a little bit more um self-control and the ability to just like turn the other cheek or just put your phone down and go outside it's not that deep really and truly like I've, i don't think in my life i honestly don't think i've blocked anybody in my entire life it's just i don't care that that much ever and i feel like blocking somebody especially if you're a guy it makes you look like you care way too much than what you should do but i understand some people get so much abuse sometimes that the block feature is actually a way for them to maintain their own peace right but i feel like you know that kind of digital middle finger to people is a bit strange but regardless everyone does it everyone kind of approaches social media in a different way but i feel like on twitter it's probably the better way to go about it because me personally i don't block people i think it's lame and i think it kind of shows that you're you know you've probably been touched way too much about what someone's done that you probably should be letting on and two i don't have the time or the f or the desire or the willingness to open up another account just to see what you post it's not that deep i don't give a fuck you know so i feel like for people like myself who maybe would like to see the post from the account because i think especially on x like people i think on x because it's like because on twitter it's like you're sharing your opinions and you're sharing your point of views and whatever you're probably more i'd imagine you're probably more prone to get blocked on twitter by randoms than you would be on instagram i'd imagine because on x you're sharing your account so i think if somebody saw a comment or a viewpoint from you on twitter and didn't like it i can understand them being oh i don't fuck with what this guy's talking about block mute you know but i feel like sometimes some accounts i don't know maybe it's a news account for instance for me it's a news account right um the news account that posts is music news i think it's it's, it's um it's kuroku it's, it's spelled c-u-r-r-c-o they're really big on twitter and shit and they always post some cool music stuff and updating you on what's going on blah 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 and obviously the, the other one that i also like is nfr and i was wondering i was checking one time to see what you know what they're posting to see new because every friday they post like new album releases and shit i went to go check one time i was like i'm blocked why am i blocked by like a media publication site like what, what 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 the fuck did i say or like i don't ever direct you know what i mean i'm not adding people when i'm saying things i'm just saying stuff on my own time i was like I, I don't even remember or know what i might have said that would have got me blocked from a kuruk from a kuruk ku account but imagine if cnn blocked you imagine for some reason the social media manager of cnn was on the account and just blocked your account but then you can't see cnn post you're not seeing news now so I think this feature will be good for that sort of stuff. Like if those sort of accounts, media platforms and stuff, media publications, news sites, blah, 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 um, that you're still able to see the post. But I think for people, it might cause some problems. I'm not going to lie because there's a lot of people on Twitter that probably, you know, they probably use the block function as a way to kind of make sure people that they find annoying, they don't get to see a lot, you know? But I feel like if you're someone like, you know, if you're somebody who's been blocked by lex friedman for instance right and i'm one of the victims again never interacted with him personally ever even added him i don't think i swear to god if you're somebody that's been randomly blocked by lex friedman and shit and you want to see what he's posting i'm not going to go to the effort of making another account to see what lex friedman's posting jeremy it's not that deep but if you're still can able to see his post that's going to be beneficial you know what i mean so you can just see what's going on you can be kept abreast of what's happening on that kind of intellectual dark website of things you know all those grifters and shit but i'm curious to see if this becomes something other social media platforms also roll out like instagram and blah. maybe instagram probably wouldn't do it because it involves like you know videos and pictures and shit maybe the whole premise of someone blocking your instagram is almost like them saying i don't want to be your friend anymore right 
I think Instagram block is probably way more personal than a block on Twitter. I think a block on Twitter is more so, hey, I'm just protecting my peace. I don't really fuck with your viewpoint. You're a fucking whatever. I'm a this. You're a right. You're, you know, you're maybe a conservative. I may be a liberal, whatever. Maybe I don't want to see your stuff or. <coughs> but I feel like on Instagram, if someone does block you, it's probably for a good reason, right? It's probably for <laughs> a just reason. So maybe just leave that as it is and don't let people to go that way. Because I think if you allow people to kind of still see people's posts on Instagram, that could get into a creepy status. They could be like stalking shit. It could get really dark really quickly. But um, I'm interested to see how this kind of rolls out because I feel like whenever this happens, these sort of features happen other social media platforms usually copy them it's not usually done in a silo other social media platforms are like oh yeah shit that's a good idea i want to do that as well so most likely we'll see other platforms also roll this out in the future but i'm curious to see how it's going to work out really curious to see how it's going to work out um let me quickly read some comments on here regarding people um some actual replies straight away people saying here you can already do that from a burner account but again i'm not ever gonna open a burner account never happening another person here says you've got to be fucking kidding me another person says here elon is literally annoying the whole point of block is to remove somebody from being able to monitor or interact with you this is only going to cause people to log into other accounts to harass but that's a thing though i don't think i think this is more beneficial for people that have been blocked like again by media publications right that or like news platforms that's probably more beneficial i think if you've been blocked by an individual for being annoying <sighs> i don't know but, but i don't know as well how, how, how would you police that you know i don't know i don't know it continues another person here says then what is the point of the block button very good point another one says this is actually the worst ever feature in x history truly can't stand mr Krabs without his shell looking ass what <laughs> why did Oh, uh, maybe the body. Okay, maybe the body. <laughs> That's so funny. I've never heard of people saying Elon looks like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> That's such a random insult. He, like, I never thought about that, but that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? He kind of does look a little bit like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one actually i'm not going to lie big up this person um if someone says fuck you elon another says let's now let's engage with them i have a few words for this hoe wow okay what's even the point of this this is so t i'm now showing up on six hundred thousand more people's timelines we don't want it this app is so much better when jack or ceo i don't think so i think twitter unpopular opinion yes there's way more racism on here there's way more legitimate, legitimate, legitimate white supremacists on here. Like guys that are dropping the hard ER, telling you to go back to your country, like race science. Like there's some crazy shit going on Twitter now. It's pretty insane. It's pretty intense. But I have to say, I much prefer it now. I much prefer the way it is now because you get to like, you can get, you can really fire from the hip. You can say some flagrant shit on here now and it makes it more fun but you also see some crazy shit like you see some some of those sh some of those accounts that have like um roman soldier fucking avatars and shit they'd be posting some crazy shit about black people <laughs> like they really don't uh, they really don't like anybody that isn't white and they make it known so um yeah it has its negatives but i do enjoy the experience of it i think Twitter before was too nerfed. You had to be really careful of what you say because you might get suspended and shit. It was annoying. Um, mind you, he's only doing this because half of the platform has him blocked. That's funny. No, I don't think that's true. I think that's the opposite. I think he's probably only doing it because he blocked so many people. But he also wouldn't mind if you check his tweets. He just doesn't want to talk to you. I think that's actually the opposite personally. Especially someone like a Brett Weinstein or Brett Weinstein, whatever you say his name. That guy's always begging elon to get him unblocked and shit but i think he's he's probably trying to correct or trying to fix that sort of issue like how about if i don't mind this guy checking my tweets but i just don't want to talk to him you know um you're telling me i have to see all the gore accounts i've blocked well, that's a good point that's a good point i never thought about that that's a good point there are a lot of those accounts in it the accounts that legitimately show you like i saw one the other day of a woman getting fucking trampled over by a tram it's her fault, obviously, because she doesn't look up. She crosses the crossing, the, the tram tramples over her and cuts off her fucking leg. Like, crazy shit. Like, you, some of those accounts are wild. Like, obviously, the famous one, I think it's a place somewhere in South America where the gang, like, wears some, um, you know, um, 
gang basically ambushes another gang while they're at some cafe and they literally empty the entire fucking drum clip inside of these guys they're like on the floor crawling trying to get back into the cafe and they just kind of covering them in bullets and you see all that stuff on there so me personally i like that shit so i follow some of these accounts you know i'm like one i'm one of those freaks i'm a public freak out subreddit guy so i like those accounts but if you're somebody that doesn't like that sort of stuff and you purposely block them so you don't need to see that level of gore or like police you know brutality videos and shit or police killing people and shit you're gonna be really pissed off i just thought that they could escape me exactly <laughs> i just thought that they could escape me um stalking exes is about to be historic again I, i'm I, I would never do this personally like you know i'm never i'm never gonna i'm never ever gonna stalk somebody that i was in a relationship with prior like if if, if it ended it ended i'm not gonna you know i mean it is what it is but i think you know i think other accounts are probably good what's this person say great day for people like me who are blocked by 20k people how do you even check that this person checked and their account is blocked by fourteen thousand six hundred and twenty one people if you needed a metric of how annoying you were that's probably what you were doing it imagine that Imagine them thinking you're not the problem. Imagine being blocked by 14,000 people and still thinking you're not the problem. Fucking hell. This is 100% because Elon thinks he'll increase the viewership because everyone blocks ad companies and now they will still see the post. Oh. Interesting. Do people do that? I don't even, I just scroll past. Honestly, people are so sensitive on the internet. Like if I see a post that says ad on the top right hand corner, I just keep on scrolling past you know like i don't know that's what i do i don't i don't bother you know like i don't bother blocking if i see an ad on the corner i don't block just so i don't see the ad anymore it's an ad like it's not that deep people are so sensitive what's the point i'm coming for your anika blah 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 so that's that's the premise that's the premise going on there again i don't think this is gonna sit well with a lot of people like with myself i'm for it like i said i'd like to see some news posts from accounts that have blocked me um but i'm also aware that most people who do block do it for good reason and they're probably not going to be too happy when they find out that people who they've tried to get out of their digital life are going to be right back in there oogling everything that they do it's probably not going to be a good thing in the long run but again it's elon's twitter world we have to just sit by and see how it plays out isn't it that's what we have to do sit by and see how it plays out um but what can we do what can we do absolutely check nothing what are you guys saying in the stream chat about this um imagine being exactly big up chris mack imagine being scared of seeing alternative opinions to your own letting it affect you to such a degree unreal what the internet has done to some people's man yeah exactly 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 i think it's different when you're like a celebrity i'd imagine that sort of input that sort of like feedback is probably a bit dizzying and can really corrupt and fuck with your brain so i think it's probably beneficial to block people or most probably the better way to do it especially if you're at a certain level of a celebrity probably get some people to handle your social media you can handle it from time to time but day to day they handle it because i don't think it's i don't think it's normal natural and it's oh you know it's a good thing for your fucking mental to be you know um taking in that much input it's just from random people online it's just too much so i think the block button for celebrities is actually pretty pretty important um what are you guys saying here uh da, 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 da. i'm confused are we starting to talk about blocking people from being able to send you messages or are we talking about blocking no big up shades cow i think this feature is about you can block somebody from engaging with you but i think on twitter that you won't be able to they'll still be able to see your tweets so they can they're not going to be able to you know engage with you dm you at you nothing reply to your tweets but they can see your timeline i think that's basically what's going on um, which I think on Twitter probably makes sense for how it is. I don't know. For me, it makes sense. I could be mistaken, but I think it makes sense. Um, big up. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, ba, 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 ba. What are you guys saying here? What are you guys saying here? What are you guys saying here? Who's this guy? Who's Poke? Poke Red Blue. You used to make videos crapping on Brendan. 30 live viewers, you're actual loser. Yeah, hey man, you gotta start from somewhere. The videos crapping on Brendan are still there. Random show channel. Check my main page to see that random show. That's where all that stuff goes on. But there'll be no crapping on Brendan on this particular place. 
at the moment so you know if that makes me a loser then so be it my friend big l on my face i still can't believe chin ate that free old fish yeah we'll talk about that on another one we'll talk about that on another one <laughs> honestly oh my god he's the best he is the best i swear to god i fucking love love chin